I don't like jewellery. I think it is a waste of money and serves very little purpose. However, many people love jewellery, especially women. They wear rings, bracelets, necklaces, earrings, toe rings, anklets, armlets, charms, bangles, cufflinks, hairpins, tie pins, chains, brooches, teeth grills, and the list goes on. So why is it so popular? Why do people think it is so essential to their appearance? If you look throughout history, it was always the kings, queens, and nobles who wore jewellery. It was a sign of wealth and power. In some cultures, for example ancient Rome, it was even illegal for normal people to wear certain types of jewellery. It was reserved for ranked officials and the upper class. In ancient Greece, it was even thought that wearing jewellery could ward off evil spirits. Of course, only the elite could wear it, so they were the only ones who could benefit from this supernatural protection. In the early 20th century, the jewellery industry launched a marketing campaign to popularise engagement and wedding rings for men, claiming that they were reintroducing a traditional medieval practice. This turned out to be a fiction. The De Beers company was well known for its promotion of diamonds in the 1940s. They came up with the slogan, A diamond is forever, and successfully convinced newlyweds that diamonds were a symbol of eternal love and commitment, a belief that is still often held to this day. De Beers was also infamous for its manipulation of the international diamond market. They used their size to bully other companies, flood the market, destroy their competitors, and then ultimately limit supply in order to inflate their own prices. And of course, people fell for it and continued to buy overly priced diamonds. Then there is the blood diamond controversy. For those who don't know, or haven't seen the 2006 film of the same name, blood diamonds are ones that have been mined, usually by underpaid workers, in areas of conflict in order to fund the war effort. The only people who benefit from these diamonds are the warlords and the diamond company employees. Since the early 2000s, many nations have made laws regarding blood diamonds. Whether these laws actually work or not, I do not know. I'd imagine there would still be lots of diamonds being smuggled out of these areas and sold on the black market, eventually making their way onto the fingers of, of unsuspecting ladies in the Western world. And then to my most hated use of jewellery, bling. Popularised by the hip-hop culture, this term basically means jewellery that is worn in a very flashy and ostentatious way. Many rappers and hip-hop artists wear it to show how much money and success they have achieved. I guess it's no different than the ancient Egyptian pharaohs who would parade around in their ornate jewellery, all the while their people were starving. So basically, jewellery is a way, and has always been a way, to show your wealth and status. It is used to promote your own vanity. It has very little practical application. Some might argue that a wedding ring has a practical use, that is, it shows that you are spoken for, although I'm sure a cheap ring could achieve the same result. I'll finish with a quote from a random internet poster named Dice Dice. Rock shiny. Me like shiny rock. Me show off shiny rock to others. Says it all.